With a quick toss and a smile, UW doctoral student Jacob Davis Chuck's new technology he hopes could one day improve hurricane forecasting. As part of this project, we aim to sample about three to four hurricanes per year. On Monday, Davis boarded a U.S. Navy aircraft that flew over the coast of Florida, tracking Hurricane Ian, a storm that has caused catastrophic damage to the region. Time is very crucial. The research project is a partnership between the University of Washington and the U.S. Navy's Scientific Development Squad. As the storm is This week, for the first time, UW built sensors were dropped directly into the path of a hurricane. We are trying to understand the waves at the ocean surface beneath hurricanes. The sensors are known as surface wave instrument float with tracking or SWIFTS. Information gleaned they hope will one day improve storm forecasting. We've been developing these instruments that are really focused on being these small sort of expendable buoys that we can deploy in huge arrays. Once they're dropped, the buoys immediately send back real-time data. The goal, provide insight into how hurricanes generate waves, something they say is not well documented by current forecasting models. Best case, just knowing to the best that we can, as soon as we can, where the hurricane's going to be and what the impacts are going to be. A new understanding of dangerous and powerful storms they hope could one day save lives. In addition to being deployed off the coast of southeastern Florida, those SWIFT devices are already in use in the Iberian Peninsula in Europe and in the Arctic Ocean. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.